two kilometers to go. Road gets narrower. And it starts to get steep, and we've got another move. It's Evna Pool again. That's done for Kelderman. Jorgensen can follow. Looking back to McNulty. He's a little further behind, and he started to struggle. And this is where Jorgensen will get excited in this group now. Primoz Roglic has closed the gap well. Santiago Buitrago's in the group. Skelmos are behind, and McNulty's really having to work for Paginis and the yellow leader's jersey. Because if this group starts to get a gap, that could spell danger for the American. Yes, well, I think uh, it's already looking danger there when you start to lose here. Uh, and uh, with uh, just under the two kilometres to go, Maybe he uh, knows that uh, the pace is a little bit too high and Remco Evenpool is not going to continue with the men in his wheel, but we can see him there. Skell must has to go by him, so McNulty is ah. really suffering here. And uh, it's a long ways, you know, uh, for the um, leader on the road, 1.5 to go here. This could creep out to be quite a lot. And uh, the man, uh, Jorgensen, he's the danger one because he could also take the uh, time bonifications, which are up here uh, for second and third place. But the gap comes Coming down 12 seconds for Vlasov. But it's increasing to Brana McNulty now. Skilmos uh, used his explosivity to get across and into this group of the famous five chasing down Alex Vlasov. It's Brana McNulty on the last weekend of a stage race he's leading. And it's a bit of deja vu, I'm afraid. It didn't go for him in the UAE for different reasons. Today, he's had a really good week. He's been courageous. He's showed fight and he needs to dig that little bit of deeper again. 10 seconds to McNulty from this group. 13 seconds up the road to Vlasov. Bernal, by the way, has dropped. He's given his all today and tried. It's not his day. Plapp has fallen by the wayside as well. But he's still fighting to hold on to the podium. We're going to have another redesign of the general classification in the final kilometre. And it's coming up to the final K now for Vlasov, who really has to get his head down and ride. He's got 14 seconds. They're chasing him up the road. Is there to be one more big acceleration behind? You can see the effort face is there. This is all in for Bora Hansgrohe to win the stage. Yes, and we can see there Remco just knocking off the effort. Uh, Jorgensen knows that you know, he has to continue on pushing on the pace here because he will be made aware that this man, uh, McNulty, is just in difficulty, losing a bit of ground here. But Vlasov looking impressive here uh, as we go you know, inside 800 metres to go. It looks like he has enough 13 seconds. When you look there, it doesn't look to be 13 seconds, but you know, out on the road there to get across, everybody is pretty much on the limit here to bridge that gap, it looks like. Uh, Bora with Vlasov can have the stage victory. Yeah, flick of the elbow there from Jorgensen. Roglic knows he can't chase here. He can follow and follow. And McNulty's still riding for his life. We talked about the courage and the fight, and he's showing it to the very last here. Desperately trying to hold on to the yellow jersey. At the minute he's succeeding, a reminder, it is 23 seconds of a gap between Jorgensen in second, McNulty, who's the race leader. Half a kilometre now for Alexander Vlasov, and he's almost got this in the bag. Jorgensen's riding for every second. It's like the junior races again, McNulty versus Jorgensen, but now it just starts to stretch out, and this is the moment where the elastic might be snapping, and McNulty might be going backwards. Add a time bonus in there, and it's going to be tight. Yes, it is going to be tight, but uh, Jorgensen has to ride now, so it's going to be difficult for the time bonuses. The other riders you know, will just take it from here in the sprint. But, yeah, it's a one. What do you do here? Do you wait? And I think Jorgensen realised that, you know, the pace wasn't high enough, so push on. And I think it's the best tactic, as we can see. McNulty is really starting to, you know, uh, lose time here. He's been digging on, digging in deep there, but starting to lose uh, time uh, massively at the moment. They've had a wait all week. They came with a brand new A star lineup, but it's a man who's been there for a while. It's Alexander Vlasov who wins the stage for Bora Hanskrup. His first win for over a year and a half. Second place goes to Remco Evenepoel, third to Roglic. There's Jorgensen, and the clock is ticking. Remember, 23 seconds at the start of the day. It's going to look tight. McNulty looks like he might just do enough to hold on today but the differences are going to be minimal. There is Brandon McNulty. That's the line. He should just...
the last time we came here with Pinis, victory went to Ilnur Zakarin. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and now it's you. So it's uh, you, you wanted to win as well for that. Yeah, yeah. I know. I knew that he won in 2016. I think. Yeah. And well, it's funny. Yeah, it's, it's lucky mountain, <laughs> mountain. What was the plan today? Uh, you you had that freedom to go to go away and not necessarily take care of uh, Primoz? Yeah, you know, I'm a bit out of GC, but uh, I had the freedom to go today. And uh, the plan was yet yeah, to see how it is the final climb. Or we sprint with Primoz, or maybe I follow some attacks, but I found a moment and I decided that I, pray I can go because the group bunch was open and I just went. <laughs> How difficult was it today? I mean, the conditions were really tough. It was raining for most of the day. How much did you suffer? Yeah, it was a tough condition. It was the rain, it was cold, especially, uh, I think, the last two kilometers, I was already freezing. My, my arms are uh, very cold. And uh, also at the beginning, uh, luckily, I was well-dressed. So I had uh, not so, well, it wasn't so cold for me, but yeah, the rain and uh, the parkour was pretty tricky at the beginning. Thank you very much. Congratulations.